Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Friday, so that means it is time for another... Fan Mail Friday! That's right. All right, so Libby's gonna pick out the first package and it is addressed to you. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This first one is from Jeff. Ooh. And he's got Libby's name on it, so... Pokemon book? Pokemon book. And there's also some other things. Look! Pokemon book, and you also have some Pokemon cards for your collection. Yeah, I can't see it on camera. I know it's hard to see on camera. And then there's some baseball cards Is there anything for else? me. The first note on Family on Friday says, I love watching your videos. They're awesome. I, of course, sent you some cards and also some Pokemon cards and a Pokemon book. If you have a Joey Votto or a Mike Trout relic, and a couple of random packs, that's what you would like back. Also like to collect boxes um, for your baseball card set. And you sent some cards from the 90s. Thank you very much, Olivia definitely enjoyed um, the Pokemon stuff. I will try to get something in the mail as soon as I can. I am weeks and weeks behind and I am going to have to really try hard to get caught up. Buddy, this next one is from Dakota Rollins. The weekend. Inside we have a Dakota Rollins Extra Innings 2018 um, CD. Okay, that's interesting. And also a Dakota Rollins 1987 Tops card. So this is the sender of the fan mail. Um, that's pretty cool. I definitely need to get one of these made for myself. You can see that you can make it look really, really realistic. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty legit, doesn't it? Some Jose Lean cards that my brother would get a kick out of. Uh, yep, he knows. He says the Jose Lean cards are for my brother and an autographed Dakota Rollins card. This note says, I've gotten back into collecting this past year and really have found your channel this past fall. It's heartwarming to see you with your kiddos and engaging them in the hobby. As a new father, I hope I can do that one day with my son. Don't worry about sending anything until I get you better cards. Instead, I was hoping you might shout out my latest project. I am a clean hip-hop artist, and I recently put out a project entitled Extra Innings. I've included a hard copy, but it is available on all major streaming platforms to anyone that is interested. Uh, and it says that his mom passed from cancer. Um, really sorry to hear that about your mom. So make sure you go check this out, Extra Innings. If you're into rap or hip-hop, it's clean. Um, check it out. Dream Big Productions. You can see that right there. Dream Big Productions. Inside... We have, whoa, what's this, Libby? I don't know. Oh, it's stuff for Emmylou. Lion King, the Grouchy Ladybug, and another Grouchy Ladybug. Thank you very much. If I remember correctly, Dream Big Productions sent us uh, Bambi and the Bambi book on tape for the kids. I don't see a note inside, but thank you very much, Dream Big. All right, well, Olivia is delivering those to my youngest kids that are going to bed right now. This next package is from Keegan. Let's check out what Keegan has sent us. We've got two little packages inside. And it says, a few fan mail Fridays ago, a person named Morse asked for some Red Sox cards. So can you send these to him? Yep, I'll put those aside for Morse. I think Morse sent us another package last week, so he was in on the fan mail twice. And in this one, we have one of those boxes from the uh, Fairfield boxes that I picked up um, earlier this week or did a video on earlier this week where they put like 50 random cards in there. Got two Jabs F for Jabs Family on there. Olivia, you got a little uh, surprise there. I wonder what that could be. It says, my name is Keegan. I love watching your vids so much, so I sent you these cards. My YouTube name is Kigo's Sports Cards. I also have a channel. Uh, so in return, could I please have any of these rookie cards? Barry Bonds, Cody Bellinger, Clayton Kershaw, or... Bo Jackson. I definitely have lots of the Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie card. I might also have some of the Bellingers around. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have some rookie cards. It's a pretty good pack. Here's some Stadium Club. We just opened these up in our live stream this week. 
Um, I got all those sorted out today. Didn't have students today, so I took the uh, breaks into school and spent the day uh, getting those all organized. And now I have about half of them even sent out, so that's good. I had all my grades and everything up to date, so thank you very much, Keegan. All right, this next one is from Chad Whitner. Let's check it out. Inside here, whoa, we got a World Series baseball in here. Check this out. Oh, a 1995 official World Series ball? This is awesome. As you might know, the Atlanta Braves won the 1995 World Series. This is pretty sick. Then we have something for... Is this EJ? It's you. There you go. Thank you. We also have some more packs in here. I just wanted to send you a little something just to show my appreciation of your channel. I've only been watching for a little over a month now, but you are literally the only YouTuber I enjoy watching every video you produce. Thank you very much, Chad. Uh, he goes on to say, I like the way you edit and show mainly the good stuff on your auctions and sales you go on. Keep up the good content. I recently got back into collecting, so I don't have a lot of great stuff, but I sent you some of what I picked up, and I thought you might be interested in also some stuff i'm sure you can pass on to others i'm a huge braves fan so anything freddie acuna albies would be great just tear it all right inside we have i see a starling Marte triple threads on top that's pretty sweet and a cal ripken jr relic how about that that is a good one wow cal ripken jr relic that is super nice. It was It's numbered out of 99. Kyle Rifkin was one of my favorite players growing up, so I definitely appreciate that. Uh, that is really, really nice. Awesome card there. Then we have Nolan Ryan, and we have a Hit Kings Jason Kendall card, and a Barry Bonds Advanced Life Upper Deck card. I see a Matt Kemp patch in there, manufactured patch on top. Then we have Chris Bryant, numbered card. Aaron Sanchez, numbered out of 49. The Schwarby uh, patch, Ahmed Rosario Crusade from Chronicles, and then an Adam Brett Walker, the second bat relic. That's pretty cool. Haven't heard of him yet, so hopefully he – oh, a Clint Fraser autograph. Clint Fraser just tweeted recently that he's finally over his concussion problems and has been cleared for full activities in spring training, so I'm looking forward to see what Fraser can do. Hopefully he makes the big league club and uh, has a breakout year. All oh, but it's Steelers. For those of you that like football, here you go. Um, you might know some of these guys. I know Ben Roethlisberger. I've heard of Juju. Rookies, it says. So these are all rookies. That is pretty sweet. Check out all the rookies. Francisco Mejia is a good one. Kingery, I think, is going to be good. Then we're getting into some older rookies. Trey Turner rookie card is really, really nice. Then we have a signature from Alex Verdugo. How about that? Alex Verdugo, one of the top prospects in baseball, a signed Verdugo card. He's on the Dodgers, at least for now, unless they trade him. Maybe they'll unload him for Corey Kluber. Another autograph, Christian Walker, Baltimore Orioles autograph card. Brandon Finnegan, Jock Peterson. That was a pretty nice pack. And then we still have one more to go. Jordan Hicks, rookie card. Uh, basically, it seems like he put in many of the rookies from 2018 tops, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Chad. All right, our next package is from Hosiah and Hannah Keen. Hosiah. Oh, we got a Seattle postcard. Probably one of my favorite cities. Love Seattle. Been there twice. 2010 and 2012 might be time to go back um, and check it out. You can see it's a postcard of Safeco Field, and there's a letter on the back. Had to pass along some pirates. Uh, I know you're inundated with these, giving you some autos to pass out to your younger kids in the hobby, and I enjoy your channel. God bless you in my prayers. And you love an 87 Bonds with the signature from the Jabs collection on it, and the 89 Griffey Jr. is your favorite card. Unfortunately, we didn't find... Oh, you mean this one? That is nice. I was going to say, we didn't find the 89 Upper Deck Griffey when I did that box break a week ago. But check this out. There is a graded 
10 BCCG 10 Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Tops traded on the top here, which is a really, really sweet card. That is nice. Check that out. Could only get these in the Tops traded set. He wasn't in the original release of the 792 card set. That is a nice one. Thank you very much for that one, guys. And there's also some packs in here. We got Donruss Score and Pirates from the 80s and 90s. And then we have Your Man and Random Maguire. Let's check this one out. My man would be Andy Van Slyke, was my favorite player when I was a kid. And there he is, Andy Van Slyke, 87 Donruss. And Mark Maguire, 89 Bowman. And this one we have Assorted Pirates and Top Heritage. There's an Austin Meadows rookie card in there. 2012 to 2007. Sorry if I always skip through the Pirates um, when you guys send me. A, it's just that we do Pirates all the time on here, so I always usually edit them down. There are hits from Fairfield Walgreen boxes in here. Fairfield and Walgreen uh, boxes, the $5 boxes where you can get a hit in one in four. All right, we got our Braden Shipley to lead things off. That's pretty cool from the Diamondbacks. Robert Pato. I haven't heard of him yet. Cody Scarpetta. Then we have a Brandon Harris greatness card there. Um, Paul Yonish, Cincinnati Reds rookie card. And a Chris Archer gold card. And who's this? Daryl Rasner or Darrell Rasner, probably Daryl. Um, so you can see the hits in the Fairfield boxes. Sometimes you get some half decent ones, sometimes you get guys that aren't in baseball anymore or never made it but they're still pretty cool to have an autograph thank you very much for all this stuff i really appreciate it this next one comes from canada from can't read the first name but the last name looks like it says lawrence side there is some cards in a lunch ziploc bag there we got some pirates from the 90s and also there's some various cards in here Trout is in there. That is a nice one. OPG Jose Lee. I'll have to put that aside for my brother. I don't know if he has the OPG version of that card. Uh, Aaron Judge rookie card. That is a good one. 87 tops design uh, from last year. I got to put that one aside for myself. That is really nice. A Pokemon card for Olivia and Richard Urania, Garrett Cole. Let's check out the note in here. Jabs, I've watched your videos for a while and I love the Fan Mail Friday videos. My favorite player is Luis Severino. I hate the Mets. My YouTube channel is Big Mon Sports right there. Big Mon Sports. You probably saw me in some of the live streams from Isaiah from Canada. And can you give your brother those uh, two Jose Lean cards? Yeah, I just put them aside. Uh, you read my mind. All right, our next one is a big large rate flat rate box. And it's from Chris Harris. Oh, I see an autograph baseball. And I see, it looks like a Miguel Cabrera figurine. Oh, that is sweet. It says, me, read me first. Okay, the note says, hey, Eric, glad you and your viewers enjoyed the package I sent last week for Fan Mail Friday. Loved reading the positive comments on the video. Sorry the comments went everywhere. I will try to stay brief, but I wanted to give everyone a little more insight on how I obtained these. I hope you give it a quick read on air. There was a group of us from work that started going to Redbirds games. We befriended several officers who let us sit down by the dugout. We made friends with a lot of players and learned their names. Number one tip for auto collectors, learn names, not numbers. One of my friends was named Jackie. Long story short, Jackie and I have been married for 18 years now. And later on, my 10-year-old Tyler came to be. The three of us were watching the other night when you opened my package, and she asked if that was all our cards, and I said, no, just mine. So in close, you will now find all of her cards that she got from those games and a few more balls. Wow, that is really generous. If you remember, uh, this was the – Chris was the person that sent us all of those autographed cards cardinals cards like hundreds of cardinals cards last week and the team signed balls it was an amazing amazing package uh so it looks like we have more in store here it says uh they were in the garage in storage and will be better with you now also there's a few more cards in a box the first six 
or so are mine. And the rest came from Tyler's small but growing collection. Uh, Tyler, shout out to you. Thank you for your donation, man. He knows there are other kids out there that need them more. Tyler's first ever game was in Cincy in 2015, seeing the Mets. It's a game none of us will ever forget because it was the game they won the NL East title. It was surreal. Finally, Eric, the last envelope is for you. This will probably be the last package I send for a while because it's all the extra stuff I have. But for everything you do for the hobby and for the kids, most of all, for the fight of your life you're going through currently against cancer, I feel I need to let it go and give it to you. I obtained it at a game in Cincy in the early 90s before this guy who be before this guy became who he became. It was all right place, right time. I had a massive collection of his I eBayed off years ago, but this was the cornerstone of my collection, my favorite piece. I know you like him, and even though Dale Murphy was always my fave, I gravitated to him for a while. It's small, but enjoy it and hand it down to your boy one day. We'll be here every Fan Mail Friday, and until next time, thank you and let's go Mets. Wow, that was a really nice note. I hope everybody enjoyed that note. Check this out. So we have a Miguel Cabrera figurine. Put that over here. And then we have some autographed baseballs from the uh, Redbirds again. The Triple A team, it looks like. Um, trying to see if I recognize any names on there. TJ Matthews. I remember TJ Matthews. Recognize that one. And this one has, I see Steve Montgomery. I can make that one out. G something or other. Really cool. And then it says Eric open last. So check that out here. Let's do this pack of cards from Tyler. So the whole family was in on the fan mail Friday. That is awesome. I'm starting to get a lot of cards, too, that once I get caught up with everybody, I'm several months behind, if I'm being honest with you. I still have boxes from November of fan mail that I have to still respond to. The case breaks have really taken off and have really slowed me down in responding because it seems like all I do is sort those cards when, in my free time and package those up, and it takes a long time to do those. Um, but I was thinking that maybe with all the extra cards you guys send – one of these days, putting together big packs of cards and uh, donating them to like a children's hospital for kids that have cancer. I think that would be super awesome to go in there and donate them. Um, literally, I probably have like, you guys have probably sent me like 30,000 or more cards. And uh, I can think of nothing I'd rather do because I'm not selling any of your cards that you send me. I would never do that. I would love, though, to donate uh, the extras after I get caught up for Fan Mail Friday, of course, because people are always requesting certain cards here and there. And um, I want to make sure that I can fulfill as many requests as I can. So that's my goal. Get caught up. And then that might be a cool project for this spring or maybe even I might have to wait till the summer when I'm off work to do that. Uh, but we have two Shoyo Tani rookie cards there from Tyler. And then we also have some autograph cards here. Check these out. Andy Bennis, you might remember him. Reggie Sanders. Joey Votto rookie card. Wow, that is awesome. It's National Baseball Card Day. Joey Votto rookie card. I was thinking about buying this card uh, up in Lancaster about a month ago. 2008 tops. Vladimir Guerrero, top prospect card. These are some pretty nice cards. Hugh Darvis rookie. Austin Hayes rookie. Mookie Betts national anthem card. Francisco Mejia rookie card. The Cal Ripken, Bryce Harper, Harrison Bader, rookie, Trout, Ian Happ, another Harper, another Bader. Uh, there's an Albert Pujols manufactured patch and a game-worn jersey from Carl Crawford. That was really nice. Thank you, Tyler. But check this out. Kevin Moss, autograph cards in there. Chris Carpenter, autograph cards, a bunch of his. Let's see if we uh, – let's see the players that – the most known player on each page, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, for me, it's William Van Landingham, but Alan Embray also is pretty well known. I remember getting uh, Mike DeFelice is probably the most well known out of those for me. Just going real quick here. For this one, not really anyone stands out. It must all be minor leaguers. On this one, we have, I remember Jose Oliva pretty well. I had a few of his cards. On this page, it's all Chris Wimmer. Oh, Trip Cromer. I do remember Trip. A bunch more Trip Cromers. 
Then we have a Kevin Koslowski collection here of autograph cards. Mike Stefanski. You guys might might remember Mike Stefanski. I think he's a bullpen catcher somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. That's, it looks real familiar. Mike Stefanski. I, I, I can picture him. He's a bullpen catcher somewhere. Uh, Sean Lowe. Um, autograph cards. Danny Jackson had a really fantastic 1988 season. Mike Morgan played for tons of different teams. Tom Pagnozzi. On this next page, we have David Bell cards, which are pretty nice. He's a manager now in the bigs. On this page, I didn't mention anybody, but I do remember Sean Hare. I remember that card. I can't say I really remember the player that much. John Mabry, uh, Dave Island, pitching coach. I got a ball from him when he was a pitching coach in, what was that? In Fenway Park, he was with the Royals. I don't know if he's still the Royals pitching coach or not. I would assume he is. Um, Geronimo Pena, remember that guy? Alan Battle, um, Alan Watson, remember his cards? You can uh, see if, the, if they made the major leagues, they're on these ones, like 94 top Steve Dixon. Nate Minchie made the majors, had a cup of coffee in the majors. A lot of these guys didn't make the majors. And then we got some Tracy Woodson cards. Tracy Woodson was uh, one of the autographs on the ball that was sent in the last package. Benji Gill, I remember Benji. He had a pretty... Pretty good little stretch there. Uh, Pokey Reese, Calvin Pokey Reese. He had a nice little career. Played with the Pirates for a little while. Derek Lilliquist, not too shabby. Lee Stevens had a couple nice seasons. Vince Coleman, how about that? That is a good one. Vince Coleman. That's a, actually a really good one. Second year card, Vince Coleman autograph. That's pretty sick. And next we have Kenny Felder. I remember his rookie cards. Robin Jennings, also Ray Sanchez, decent fielder. Jaime Navarro, do remember him. Doug Glanville, Doug Glanville is, uh, he was an announcer the last time I had cable. He was an announcer on ESPN. Uh, Kevin Foster from the Cubs. Brant Brown, Brant Brown dropped the ball um, that cost the Cubs an important game. Here it comes. Line drive, deep toward left, Brown back, still going. At the edge of the track, has dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Brooks Kieschnick was a good power hitting prospect. Also tried to be a pitcher. Turk Wendell was crazy. He would never step on the line. He would always jump over it. He had a few good seasons. Nigel Wilson autographs. Nigel Wilson was like the Acuna of baseball for about a year or two. Everyone, well, Nigel Wilson. The only difference is Wilson never had major league success. But he was like a big prospect. Terry Pendleton, 1991 NL MVP, beating out Barry Bonds. Um, yeah, I'm still in the big box, Liv. There's so many, so many autographs in here. Brian Barber, um, Rich Bachelor, Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw again. Emmy Lou's upstairs. Um, Eli Marrero, I remember him, the catcher. Eli Marrero. Dimitri Young. This is a really nice collection. More Dimitri Young cards. Um, there's a nice select. It's not just all like uh, one team or, or the other. There's a nice mixture of different teams in here. Tim Costo, Alan Bennis. Some more Alan Bennis. Livy's pressuring me by putting a big box right in my face here. So I'm going to have to hurry this up. More Alan. Lots of Alan Bennis. Alan Bennis must have been a really generous signer. Tons of Alan Bennis cards. And Andy Bennis, his older brother. So that takes us to the very last one. It says, open last. Pretty special. Right place, right time. Oh, no way. It's a Barry Bonds autograph card. Wow. This is my first ever Barry Bonds autograph card. I remember I was trying to get his autograph at Pirate Fest, but it just wasn't meant to be. I got everyone else's autograph there that I can remember, but not Barry Bonds. He was kind of tough to get. And you got Barry Bonds in Cincinnati. Wow, check that out. 1988 score Barry Bonds autograph card. That one's definitely going in the personal collection. And, of course, I will pass that down to EJ or Olivia, whoever becomes the bigger baseball fan. That is really sweet. Or maybe I might. Look, a Barry Bonds autograph. All-time home run king. Most home runs of all time. Or each, and I might pass down Pokemon to Egypt. Yeah, maybe. 
Thank you very much, Chris, Jackie, Tyler. That was amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, thank you for all that stuff. Our next package is from Hunty Bishop. I think that's Hunter Bishop. Looks like some, uh, there's a box that says relic, numbered card, and auto. Let's see, it says, to your jabs, I don't know if you remember, my name is Hunter Bishop, and this is my second time sending you stuff. I hope you like the stuff I sent you and was wondering if it was enough to get at least one star rookie card. Hope you get better. Still City Collectibles, scratch and win card. Let's see what we got. We have an Austin Meadows in there and also Hanley Ramirez, solid player. And then we got the show code, so I'll have to go like that. But if you want the 17 show code, there you go. I'm not going to use the 17 show code, so someone can use that one if you still play that. And an Ender Inciarte relic. Pretty nice. Thank you for that. In here we have a Fairfield box. Looks like he uh, went through and sent us along a bunch of cards, uh, maybe from the Fairfield box. Oh. At least Diaz rookie card. Roy Holiday will be inducted when the announcement comes out next Tuesday. Run two good rookies per box, so we're guaranteed two good rookies in this box. Check it out. Oh, I see the good rookies on the bottom. They are Ozzy Albies and Walker Bueller. Well, thank you very much, Hunter, for your contribution to Fan Mail Friday. This next one is from Eric Johnson, one of my Patreon patrons, and also a, an active participant in the Breaks box. Oh, this is really nice. Check this out. No way. I, wow. Check that out. It's a Milwaukee Brewers. What is this? A half... Half zip up uh, pullover, like a batting practice pullover. That is awesome. Um, it's a medium, so my wife is going to get this one. I can't fit into a medium, unfortunately, uh, but that is really sick. Let's check out the note before we look through the other stuff. It says, I figured it was about time to write again and contribute some more items to Fan Mail Friday and the community. I found a few extra fan giveaway items from Milwaukee Brewer Games that I was hoping you would be able to share with other Brewer fans, subscribers, and Patreons. Oh, yeah, I could send that to some Patreon patrons. That's a good idea. I also included a few miscellaneous cards that I am sure others would appreciate as they are for teams that are not a focus of my collection. The graded Cal Ripken card? There's a graded Cal Ripken Jr. card here. This is going to be pretty sweet. As a last thought, I wanted to thank you for creating fun content that has helped bring myself and others like me back to the hobby. I am looking forward to seeing more content and the joy that it brings to the community and the hobby. So look what else he sent. Check this out. We have a fan giveaway Jimmy Nelson bobblehead right here. That is pretty sick. There's also this Ryan Braun um eight ball or actually it's a euchre ball i thought ryan braun because of number eight there for a second euchre eight ball you shake it up and then i i guess it gives you some euchre phrases there why don't we try it safe all right so you shake this and then it gives you a euchre phrase safe maybe i should shake it a little harder this one says where is it where is it Gone fishing, ask later. Look, you shake it and then a magic code comes up, a magic phrase. There's also, check this out, the Cal Ripken Jr. 1984 Tops Mint 9 card. Uh, that is really awesome. I do know someone that would love a Cal Ripken Jr. card um, that is in the community, especially a Mint 9 card. That is really sick. And then in this one, we have a Dylan Batances, a Yuli Gurriel rookie card 87, which is pretty cool. I love that design. And a Camilla Luddington first pitch card. Also in the box, let me show you, there's a Stadium Club Series 1 complete set of baseball cards. And check this out, a Stadium Club box that is crushed down that I think someone even just asked for like crushed boxes like that. That's pretty cool. If you'd like to see this box being open, make sure you search 1991 Top Stadium Club Series 1 Baseball. Building a pack fresh set and you 
can watch it right there. So make sure you find that so you can find Eric's YouTube channel. He's, he does have a YouTube channel. Make sure you go check it out. I don't see the YouTube name, but that will probably be the easiest way to find it. Just search that. Go in there and tell Eric what great stuff he sends and give him a sub. And uh, watch his video and enjoy it. Thank you very much, Eric. That was some awesome stuff. I appreciate it. This next one is from Cody Tony, it looks like it says. Cody Tony. Inside the box, we've got a bunch of cards in here, including some cards and top loaders, such as Chipper Jones, rookie card, 91. JBJ rookie, Roberto Alomar rookie, and John Smoltz rookie. That's pretty good. Then there are some more in a team bag. Starling Marte, McCutcheon, McCutcheon again, and some Pirates, including some Barry Bonds cards. Very nice. 91 tops in there just to get the the gist of the box it appears they are all pirates from the 80s and 90s so, um thank you cody for these this must be a rookie pack we got a gaddis rookie uh jose paras and Corey seager rookie we got a tom glavin matt williams rookie card larry walker who's not going to get in the hall of fame this year but next year on his 10th year i think he's going to get in his 10th and final year of eligibility there's also a Sammy Sosa rookie card in there. Adam Warren. Um, who else we have? Marquise Grissom rookie card. And then we have some gold cup cards. Here's Cody's note. As a kid, I collected cards. And like you and many others, I've returned to collecting and have tried to introduce my son, Cruz, to the hobby. We've been watching you lately and enjoy what you are doing. It's great to see someone that loves to collect and trade cards like when we were kids. That's the way it should be. You have sparked us to try and start our own channel called... Tony Family Cards. So check them out. Tony Family Cards. But we have only got one video up so far, and we hope to produce more soon. So know that you and your family are in our prayers, and we wish you the best as you beat cancer. We notice you get football and basketball cards as well. We are Chiefs and Oklahoma City Thunder fans as well. Thank you very much, Cody Tony. Tony Family Cards is the name. Next, this one is Matt Dungan's package. It's I just sent Matt's Rays case break teams back today. Wish I would have waited one extra day. I could have uh, popped in some extra cards for you. Six tops wax packs available. I'd like to buy a lot from you, but if you wanted to send me some, I would be truly grateful. I do have a whole case of 86 that I could uh, pick out some packs for you, Matt. Dang, I wish I would have uh, seen this before I sent out your, your breaks. I could have popped in the, popped in some packs for you into your Rays package, but that should be there hopefully soon. Inside here, Matt has sent us a Daniel Norris sepia rookie card from Topps Chrome, a Daniel Norris autograph, and a Daniel Norris graded autograph. That is really nice. Mint 9, PSA 9, Daniel Norris. Daniel Norris, of course, if you're new to the channel, he beat the same cancer that I am currently battling. And then we, wow! According to PSA, this is the only PSA 9 in their database. It is a 1989 Topps graded Andy Van Slyke card. Dude, this is going on my mantle. This is the card that got me addicted to uh, collecting. Um, I pulled it in a, my first ever pack of cards that I got back in 1989. In the middle of Hill's department store, I opened them up and started going crazy because Andy Van Slyke uh, was in there. My friend was all sad that I got it and he didn't. Uh, by the way, Andy Van Slyke, this card, I used this card as the very first card for the Follow the Flip to the 52 Mantle series that I'm doing. I sold this card for $10 and with the $10, I bought two baseballs. Actually, it was supposed to be one, but he sent me two for some reason. Uh, it's an Arizona Diamondbacks commemorative inaugural opening day baseball, March 31st, 1998. Official Major League Ball. Back then, they were National League and American League balls. Uh, these are for sale on eBay. Haven't sold these yet, so the follow the flip feature will be stalled out until I get these sold. I did drop the price $5 today to $34.99 per ball. 
hoping I can sell these by tomorrow or this weekend so I can buy some more stuff uh, with the proceeds and start step three. I do plan to give away the 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle rookie card as a giant uh, contest on my channel once I eventually do get it. So this was the card to start it all. Uh, the person that bought it asked me to sign it, so I signed it on the bat sideways like that, and I put uh, FTF52M, all the flip 52 Mantle. That is really, really awesome. Matt, that was a great package. 1986 tops coming your way. It's sometime. Uh, hopefully I can get caught up soon and uh, get those in the mail. All right, our next package, let me just cover it up to save some time. It's from 760 cards and more, 760. We have, read before opening, okay. It says, I've been selling and collecting baseball cards for nearly 30 years and I Honestly, say I've never seen anybody or somebody with the passion for the hobby, the sport of baseball, and the determination to spread that passion to a generation of new collectors the way you have. I know you collect rookie cards, but I also know you had favorite players growing up. I put together something for you to be a reminder of the joy you had as a kid collecting cards. It's not much, but I know that little Eric from the 80s. Uh, for, for little Eric from the 80s, it has a special meaning. There's no need to send me anything. All I ask is two things. I would love to have a shout out to my new YouTube channel, 760 Cards and More. So everyone go subscribe to 760 Cards and More. Never give up your passion for the hobby. Keep up the great videos because the new generation of collectors needed to be reminded of what a great hobby this is and what a great pastime baseball truly is. Best of luck, Brian. Thank you very much, Brian. Um, everyone, make sure you check out 760 Cards and more uh, and give him a sub. Try to get him, uh, I don't know, usually when I give shout-outs, it usually gets people maybe like upwards of 50 subs per shout-out. So that would be a pretty cool uh, starting point for him. 50 subs. It took me a long time to get to 50 subs when I first started out. I think it was like maybe like three or four months before I got to that plateau. But every plateau, you just once you reach 50, you set your sights on 100. Once you reach 100, set your sight on something else, maybe 200. And just keep on going and just uh, keep grinding. And uh, if your goal is to make money off the channel, you have to have a 1,000 subs. Eventually, you can get there. But maybe your goal is just to connect with people. I know a lot of people just like to uh, interact with the card community through YouTube which is also perfectly fine. There's tons of small channels out there um, looking for subs and other channels that just like making videos just to make, oh man. Wow. Andy Van Slyke autographed frame card from Topps Archives. There's the card that started it all for me. Back-to-back -back packages. The graded PSA 9, now we have this friend one with his autograph. And there's also this nice picture of the Upper Deck IOS collection, or IUS collection. Uh, I think we always called it IOS when we were growing up. Um, wow, that is really, really sick. Check out the back there. That is, I, now I have my mantelpiece, I guess. I need to get a game room one of these days. Down here, we have this really big basement. Um, it's all dedicated to the kids right now, and the, the other half is a gym. But one of these days, I need to get like a a man cave somewhere in this house. All right, next up, this one is from Dan, and Dan is from Canada, as you see there. There's the newspaper. It's a photocopy of the good old days. There are plenty of good investments from the 1960s by Dan Heimlich, and Dan is the sender of this, so Dan wrote this article. That's pretty cool. Um, I wonder, this looks like it might have been featured in maybe Beckett Magazine or something like that. Let's check out the note and see if it says. Well, Dan is a journalist. 1980 sets you can't find in most price guides. Whole article on that. This looks like it was from Baseball Hobby News back in 1993. A history of OPT baseball cards. Canadian company has issued cards similar to Topps every year since 1965. Wow, this is some good history here. This one appeared in 1992 at Baseball Hobby News. And then there is another one here. Uh, like a fine wine, some cards need time to age. 
This is probably from the uh, early 90s with Deion Sanders in the picture there. And we have, what else we have here? Montreal Expos gift certificate for $9.50. A season ticket gift certificate. Stadium tour for Yankee Stadium. It's time to make a move. Montreal, Operation 2001. Then we have a Mets schedule there with Edgardo Alfonso on the front. Play ball, baseball's back. We have some ballots from 2009 and 1999. Also 2001. And we have Expo schedules from 96, 97. Yankee schedule. Wow, this is a lot of good stuff here. And then this says, Official Car Service of the New York Yankees. Don Mattingly and a little pack of cards. we got a Johnny Bench 83 in here. And these are OPT cards, so I don't have any of these. Tony Perez. These are all OPT cards. Every now and then an OPT would pop up in my, pop up in my collection, but it was kind of rare. Uh, I believe these to be OPT cards also. Willie Stargell, 1980 tops. These are pretty awesome. Really appreciate that. Uh, Dan, thank you so much. Let me check and make sure I didn't miss a note in there. Oh, there is a note. Let's check this out. The note says, I've been collecting cards of several sports ever since my dad bought me a pack of hockey cards in 1971 when I was five years old. From 1991 to 1995, I worked at a card store until it went out of business, like many card stores did. I also contributed art. I also contributed articles to a few card magazines. They also went out of business and wrote a weekly card column for a daily newspaper in Sherbrooke, Quebec, for about a year or two. I live in Montreal, so there's no longer a baseball team to cheer for here. I did manage to get four foul balls while the Expos were here. I know that doesn't compare to your six thousand balls, but four is better than none. I could talk about cards for hours, but I'll keep this letter short. I wanted to include stuff that people don't usually send you, so I've included copies of some articles that I wrote. I hope you find them interesting. If not, you can use them as a cure for insomnia. I don't know if you collect all-star ballots, but if you do, you probably don't have any that are written in French. Oh, that's true. So I've included a few of those along with some OPG baseball cards and other stuff. Good luck with your help, Dan Heimlich. Thank you very much, Dan. That was some really nice stuff coming from north of the border there. Really appreciate that, and I look forward to reading those articles. Okay, the next envelope comes from Cowboys Baseball Cards. First, it says, Hi, Eric. I hope you get well soon. I searched my entire collection to find some Daniel Norris cards for you. I sent Pokemon Penny Sleeves for Olivia. I want an auto relic and a Bregman rookie card. Oh, yep, he does have a YouTube channel. My YouTube is Cowboys Baseball Cards. Here's the envelope. And... Here is the Daniel Norris card, 2018 tops. Thank you very much. Next up, this one is from Dog Pound, 622. And Dog Pound has sent us, oh, what is this? A Babe Ruth, 2017. Uh, this is a fake out. I think it's a fake out. It's a, a Babe Ruth um, homemade card, one of one. Made it look like it was a 10. Um kind of scares me a little bit to buy any PGI cards if their uh, cases are that easy to uh, bust open and, and put something in there. But that is pretty cool. Babe Ruth says, I've watched your videos for a few months now, and I've really enjoyed your YouTube channel. You have inspired me to start collecting again and build a collection I can hopefully pass on to my newborn son one day. You are a great inspiration to a lot of people. I was born in 1980, same year as me, and like players like Ron Gant, Dave Justice, Bo Jackson, Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey Jr., please send any that you can spare. I also like Shea Otani and Acuna. If you have any extras, Ozzy Albies, the holidays, and his channel is Dog Pound 622 Lots of channels for you all to go check out tonight. Please shout out my channel, Dog Pound 622 Tyler Wade, Tyler Beatty, O'Neal, uh, Lourdes Goriel Jr., and some more rookies. Thank you for the cards, Dog Pound 622 I'll get over and sub to your channel right now. The so next one is from Carbone. I believe this is from Nolan, who has sent us 
some stuff before. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Check it out. Very nice. I hope there's a note. Is there a note? Here's the note. Let's read the note first. If it's from Nolan, Nolan always sends great stuff. It says, uh, hi, I am 12 years old. This is the fourth time I've sent to you. This is a thank you for your great videos. I started watching you when you were around 300 subscribers. That was back in 2016. I've included some 70s cards from my dad, and it's recently completed 70s sets. Uh, also, a Kmart set I put in. Some other cards I put in a Topps Gallery Otani. Um, some autos and relics, also some Barry Bonds and Will Clark rookie cards. I was wondering if you could send me a Juan Soto Topps Heritage and other Juan Soto cards. I definitely have a few Juan Soto cards now. I will take some time and find those for you and send them your way. Uh, let's see what we got here. Vintage rookies. I see Randy Johnson on top, 1989 score. That's pretty cool. And then we have, oh, the Barry Bonds. 1986 Topps traded. One of my top 10 favorite cards of all time. I know a lot of you hate Barry Bonds, but this card was one of the, at one point, it was probably the most valuable card in my collection at some point back in the uh, mid-90s. So this card was pretty awesome. And then we have some Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie cards. As you know, I can't get enough of this card either. Somebody actually asked me to uh, sign this card, so I definitely just save me some time looking for one. And then we have Tom Glavin rookie card and Randy Johnson rookie card with the Marlboro ad blacked out there. And then in this one, we have Bo Bichette, Raphael Devers, Bo Bichette again, some top prospects there, Andy Van Slyke, Max Kepler autograph. I just pulled this exact same cards in a, in a uh, break. I had to send it away, so that's pretty cool to get that one. Randy Johnson rookie card, Blake Snell rookie cards. He was the signing Award winner, David Price relic. Sano, no way, no way. That Severino's nice, but I'm looking past that because I see more Barry Bonds. Man, you you might have quite a collection. You and your dad have really an awesome collection to have so many duplicates of these great cards. Thank you very much for the uh, Barry Bonds. Um, triples of the uh, 86 tops traded. Also, Will Clark rookie cards, 86 tops traded and 87 tops. There's a Schwarber. Gary Sheffield, 89 score rookie. Roberto Alomar. Bo Jackson, future star cards. That's a pretty sweet one also. Man, this is an awesome, awesome box. And there's still some more in here, guys. Uh, let me pull it over here. We have that Kmart set that he mentioned in his note. Uh, you can see those are the players from the uh, back, the MVP. Uh, checklist there of various years. And then we have a Topps Gallery Shoya Tawny rookie card and a nice uh, screw-down top loader case there. And then here's cards from the 70s and early 80s, which I'll be interested in doing. Let's, we might as well do those in a second here. Noah Syndergaard rookie card, Jacob deGrom rookie card, Mike Trout, Reese Hoskins, Ozzy Albies, and there's more random cards. Reggie Jackson, Hoping to come across his 69 Tops rookie card at a flea market or card show soon. Frank Thomas, 87. There's a Andy Van Slyke. Oh, Andy Van Slyke, 87 Tops traded. Like that card a lot. Uh, Pedro Martinez. Autos and Relics. Let's see what we have in the Autos and Relics. Ugh. I have to get that open there. We have a Babe Ruth. Uh, awesome little, like, relic patch there. That's pretty cool. All century team. Justin Verlander relic. That is a good one. Numbered out of a hundred. Then we have a Nola manufactured patch. Jacob DeGrom. Byron Buxton. Chris Archer autograph is a really good one. If you like the Pirates. Colton Wong relic. Evan Longoria relic. And Ryan McMahon relic. What a bunch of good stuff here. This is a really good box. Anytime you see me in a flea market, if I see a good deal on 70s cards, I pick them up. We have some good, solid players in here. Foster, Gary Carter. Here is a rookie's card from 1971. Ken Singleton and Steve Garvey. We'll collect Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a sweet card. 
Uh, then we have a Judge and uh, Altuve there. Glaber Torres rookie cards, also really awesome. I definitely collect his cards too. And then recent rookies, I see a Juan Soto in there, along with Otani. A couple more Otanis in each row. Wow, a few Otanis. And the George Springer 2014 Tops update. What a great, great box. You should make a, I mean, I'm doing shout outs for everybody. Nolan, you should make a YouTube channel of your uh, card collection because I'm sure you guys have tons of stuff you can show off. Thank you so much. Next up, this one is from Barrett. Hiding in the corner, we have a Malik Smith autograph along with a Paul Goldschmidt numbered out of 50 and a Mike Trout card. Pretty cool. Let's check out the note. It says, hello, my name is Barrett. I'm 11 years old, and I've been collecting baseball cards for about a year now. I'm a huge Nationals fan, so if you could send anyone's auto from the Nationals, that would be great. All right, Barrett, I will see what I have. I'm sure I have a few Nationals. Hopefully, they're current Nationals. Right along, this one is from Bill Penrod. Trying to get this video uploaded tonight. Uh, this is pretty cool. Legion of Super Pets. Be Bill's dogs. That's pretty cool. And then he also sent a Daniel Norris relic. Very nice. And a Pokemon pack for Olivia. Olivia's in bed right now. So I'll have to put that off to the side. The note says, I found this card and know you would like it. Had these pet cards made and thought you and Livy would like them. My dog Zeus has his own YouTube. Okay, we got another YouTube shout out. Zeus the Mighty... Pity. Of his. Thank you very much, Bill. The next one came like this. It looks like it's been ripped apart. Um, what happened was it got caught in the machine. If you ever send something with a uh, top loader in, it, loader in it, you want to write non-machinable. Otherwise, the uh, the envelope will literally get ripped up. This is from Matt, but uh, luckily it looks like oh the card. <laughs> Look at that. The machine completely destroyed the top loader, but the cards somehow are still in good condition. We got Daniel Norris, Andrew McCutcheon, Robert Acuna Jr. made it. Glaber Torres made it. Walker Bueller. All the cards inside Mirac. I don't know how they survived. That's crazy. Everything got just chewed up and destroyed, got caught in the sorting machine. Uh, it's an extra 21 cents to... Uh, right non-machinable on there but it is well worth it but here's what it says it says hey eric it's waltaz can i have a shout out on youtube yep waltaz shout out to you i love your videos and i hope your battle with cancer goes your way your videos made my collecting really take off can you send back some rookie autographs of any star the in the mlb currently or a relic of a good play we have lots of relics that i could Find. All right, on to the next one. This is from Steve Hauer, Kellen, and Peyton. An old 69 Tops card in here. And some Bowman's Best. Ed Brinkman. Let's see if I'm missing a note. I don't see a note. So we got some Pokemon cards and coins for Olivia that I'll put aside. And then it looks like a bunch of Bowman's Best cards. Just got done sorting and shipping a bunch of these out from the last week break. Let's see, we got Ryan Weathers. That's nice because he threw me a ball, so it's cool to actually own one of his cards finally. We got an Andujar Endeavors rookie card, Otani, Kingery. That's pretty nice. Uh, some gold tops cards, some more rookies, and now we have Francisco Mejia rookie, Michael Franco numbered card from Finest, along with Nelly Cruz, Victor Robles, Jack Flaherty, Aaron Judge is a nice one, Andrew Benintendi, and a Matthias D8s, I guess. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name because he's a rookie. He hasn't come up yet. Deets. Probably Deets. I don't know. Really nice. Thank you for that autograph. We also have another pack here of some cards from 2018 Tops. Looks like it's a lot of the inserts, the International Affair cards. Forrest Whitley is going to be really good. And now we have some regular Bowman cards. These are some of the uh, base cards. Manny Machado. Gary Sanchez, very nice. No, no, but thank you very much, guys, for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. This one is from the Waylands. Looks like they're from Los Angeles, based on the postmark there. And there's a Justin Verlander 
2000 and 2005 draft pick card. I don't think I've seen this card. It's one of those fake out cards. Faked me out. It's a reprint. Frank Thomas rookie card. Randy Johnson 89 upper deck rookie card is nice. Soriano minor league card. Then we got Bobby Bow rookie card 87 to Fleer. And there it is. The 87 top spray bonds again. Very, very nice. Let's see what the Whelans wrote in their note. As quick note to wish you a happy 2019. Beat cancer and keep creating. Appreciate you. Love your knowledge and passion. No need to send back anything. Just uh, keep it, paying it forward. A few cards we had lying around and thought you might like. Many blessings, the Whelans. Matt, Leo, and Bella. Very nice. Thank you so much, guys. Love the uh, Bonds 87 Tops rookie card. All right, only two packages left. This one is from Drew, 88 McGuire. And his note says, stay strong, buddy. Enjoy the cards. we got Hall of Famers, Old Pirates, and Random. Let's do the Random. Random can be interesting. Robinson Cano. Back when he was much younger, Brandon Crawford, first Bowman card. Charlie Morton, Madison Bumgarner rookie card. Opening day is really nice. There's a nice Mickey Mantle 53 design right there. Frank Thomas, Barry Bonds home run history. Mark McGuire cards. These Hall of Famers look. Ricky Henderson, 84 tops. That is a nice one. Some more Ricky Henderson cards. Carlton Fisk, Ryan Sandberg, Frank Thomas, Cal Ripken Jr., Andre Dawson, Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, Paul Malder, Dennis Eckersley, Tony Gwynn. Lots of good Hall of Famers in there. John Smoltz. And let's do this pack. I'll save the old Pirates for off-camera. Whoops. Just spilled all these. We got some Tom Glavins. Tom Glavin rookie card is in there. Greg Maddox. Robin Yount. Ozzy Smith, Barry Larkin, Roberto Alomar, Edgar Martinez is going to get into the Hall of Fame. Some Kirby Puckets, Nolan Ryan, Pudge, Pudge Rodriguez, Dave Winfield, and another George Brett. Thank you very much, Drew, for those cards. All right, our very last one is from Ben Blakely. Last package on this Fan Mail Friday. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you guys watching and also... Everyone that sends stuff in, I appreciate that a lot. Oh, man, too bad Olivia went to bed. Got a bunch of Pokemon cards for her. One, two, three, four, five packs. I'll put that with her other Pokemon cards so when she wakes up, she can get it. Just got too late. Check out these fatheads. You peel these off, and you can put them, like, on your wall or your, like, school folders. These are pretty awesome. Jose Fernandez, rest in peace. Adam Jones, Ryan Braun. Jason Worth, Fernandez again, you Darvish, Machado, Tory Hunter, Freddie Freeman, Tulowitzki, Holiday, Weeders. Let's check out the note. The note says, Hello, my name is Ben and I am 19 years old. I am from a small town in upstate New York near Rochester. I've been an avid card collector since I was 10, kind of phasing out of baseball card collecting and switching to football cards. Uh, thank you very much. Let's check out what we have in here. All right, I opened up all the little packs and put them all together, and I'll show you the highlights. I see some rookie cards peeking out here. Some nice sepia David Dahl rookie card. Mookie Beck, Goldschmidt, and Ross Ollendorf. Ross the boss. I loved Ross Ollendorf. He was a good guy. Ross Ollendorf. Super, super friendly. And also Brian Anderson autograph. Very nice. And there's more. There's a Mark Mulder material card, a relic, an Andrew Dobie's autograph, and then Robinson Cano, some gold cards, Dontrell Willis relic, very nice, and we end off with some 2017 Topps cards here, and that's going to do it for this episode of Fan Mail Friday. Thank you, Ben, and thank you, everybody that sent stuff in. I really appreciate all your contributions. I will work hard to try to get caught up on the seemingly month's worth of replies. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you all later. Okay, everybody. The January giveaway is your choice of one of these three boxes. I have a box of 2018 Big League, sealed and unopened. A box of 2018 Top Series 1, sealed and unopened. And a 2018 Tops Factory Set, sealed and unopened. All you have to do to win one of these is simply comment on all of my videos 
is the more you comment and also the more videos you watch and comment in, the better your chances are of being drawn as the winner. So I draw the winner at the end of every month in a live stream. So I hope that you'll be able to participate in this giveaway by commenting and interacting with all the great subscribers that I have. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later. I'd also just like to take one quick second and thank all 59 of my Patreon patrons, especially these five, though. These are my top tier guys. We got Tommy, Darren, and then Tom A, Big K's Cards and Collectibles, and finally Terry. Uh, and two of these guys have YouTube channels. You got T's Baseball Life, that's Terry's channel, and also Big K's Cards and Collectibles. Go check them out on YouTube and subscribe, everybody.